today he wants to turn it around he wants to turn it around whatever you're facing to see a display of God's power in right now? What do you need to see breakthrough in right now? Have you settled with just what you have? If it was God's will, it'd heal me. Many are saying. If it was God's will, this wouldn't be the way it is. fresh reminder of his power we need a fresh reminder of the power of almighty God we need to know God almighty again we need to know God almighty again God of angel armies again God who fights for us again we need to know that God Not Western world, Western Christianity, God.
You've been feeling hopeless and powerless. Holy Spirit right now is releasing power into every circumstance, every situation of your life. He's releasing His power in fusion in the middle of hopelessness and despair. He's releasing power into bodies that are broken, financial situations that are dire. He's releasing His power into 11th hour situations that need a miracle or else. He's releasing His power. But I'll tell you something else that He's doing. He's reminding us, the church, of who she is right now. We've forgotten. I heard him say, rise up, you people of power. Rise up, my bride. Rise up, you people of power. You need to know, you need to know whose you are. It's an hour of fresh identity. It's an hour of fresh identity. Last week I had this dream that I was in this house with all these other people. And the lights just kept flickering on and off over and over. In different rooms of the house. And I, I said, maybe we should go check the, the power box to see if there's something we can do. Maybe there's a fault. And these people just didn't seem interested. Instead, they got candles and flashlights and were just happy dealing with the darkness. I woke up and the phrase just come to me, we've settled for a lesser power. We've settled for a lesser power. And there's a fault right now in the body of Christ, a power fault that the enemy has tried to cause through unbelief and through hopelessness and hope deferred. And it's caused the people of God to back away from the promises. It's called the people of God to back away from what God has said and what He's called us to be and what He's called us to release into the earth. There's been a power fault. We've settled for lesser power, but... We will not stay there because God is reminding us even right now. He's reminding us even right now, even as you're listening, there's going to be an infusion of strength into places of your life that you felt defeated and that could never change. You've been staring at giants for such a long time. You don't even know what what it's like to take one down, but God says you're going to take down giants again. Yes, you are. You're going to take down giants again, says the Lord. Yes, you are. We can't confirm, we can't conform to the world's standards, to the culture around us. We can't do it. You know, when Jesus went to Nazareth, his hometown. He was unable to do miracles there because of the unbelief. We have to leave Nazareth. We have to leave the familiar. We've got too comfortable with having to work out our own stuff. We got too comfortable with our plan B. God, if you don't come through, I've got this. If God doesn't save me, then, well, I've got this. Because we haven't believed in the power of God. And maybe it's just been a long time for you. Because we're settled. We're settled because those giants have been taunting us. Yet we've settled in the transition. I hear him saying, all is available. 
Right now I just feel him say, grab it, reach out for it. Whatever you need right now, just by faith, by faith, by faith, just reach out and say, God, you're my chain breaker. Grab it, reach out for it, whatever it is you need right now by faith. Stir up, stir up, stir up, stir it 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 up. Stir it up, stir it up, stir it up, stir it up. Just like the woman with the issue of blood, grab it, grab his hem. It's all in the person of Jesus. Grab his hem right now. 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 It's power in the name of Jesus. What have we traded for powerlessness? What have we traded for powerlessness? What have we filled our lives with instead of the power of God? What have we got to give? What have we got to give as a church to a world that is broken if we do not have His power? Words just won't cut it. Words just won't cut it. Words just won't cut it. What have we got? What have we got? for miracles to come back again it's time for resurgence of power and miracles in the church in your life in your family in your marriage in your finances in your health it's time for miracles signs and wonders because you're born to be a wonder you're born to be a wonder and I see a church that is different than what we're seeing now I see a church that just doesn't cave in to all the things that the world accepts. I see a church that rises up and says, no, trauma and pain is not my future. It is not my destiny. I don't need to live with tormenting spirits coming at me every moment of the day. I don't need to accept depression, anxiety. That's not a part of my life. That is a spirit. That's not just some natural circumstance. I will not take it. We need to stop putting a religious spin on things that are demonic assignments and agendas. We can't have it. And in this hour, God's raising up a people who say, enough is enough. I will not have it. I will not have it anymore. I will not have it anymore. I will not have it anymore. anymore we'll not be robbed anymore we will not fall for the lack of knowledge anymore 
This is the hour that the spirit of Elijah is coming like we've never seen before to restore the fallen altar, the sound, the fire, and the power of God. You see, the prophets of Baal, they couldn't do anything. They had no power. Prophets without power are useless. There must be a manifestation of power. There must be a manifestation of power. There must be a manifestation of power. He wants them to stay clubs, meaningless, powerless, handing out band-aids to victims. No more, no more, no more. The power of God needs to come back to the church. Rise up, rise up, you people of power. Rise up, rise up, rise up, you people of power, power. Rise up, rise up, rise up, you people of power, power. Rise up, rise up, rise up, you people of power. Same power that rose Jesus from the dead lives in you. Let me say that again. The same power that rose Jesus from the dead lives in you. Say it again. The same power that rose Jesus from the dead lives in you. The same power, the very same power, and it's looking for a way out right now. It's looking for a way out right now. It's looking for an obstacle. It's looking for a problem. Maybe it's even in your own life. Release the sound, release that power, release your faith. Speak, speak forth. In the past week, God's just been reminding me of all the times I'd seen the power of God, all the times I'd seen His power. I remember growing up and seeing so many healings and miracles. People that would just get out of their wheelchairs, legs that would straighten, spines that would come into alignment. I remember seeing demonic deliverances so many and then God did it to me as well I remember when I was that teenager tormented by demons and the power of God came into my life and it set me free and it set me free see inspiration and motivation they can't do that it can't do that it band-aids it it tries to soothe it or suppress it, but it cannot remove it completely. Only the power of God can do that. Only the anointing can break yokes of bondage. 
and the power of God is available right now in your life. I remember this lady at a conference. She came down the front just weeping. She had a bad breathing and lung condition that was life-threatening. She'd just been in a hospital for two weeks straight prior to the conference. And she hadn't said anything to anyone. As myself, Christy, and a few pastors were up the front praying for people, just through a bunch of people, I saw her standing there. Suddenly I felt the lion of the tribe of Judah begin to roar through me. Enough is enough. Enough is enough. And as I placed my hand on her, on her neck, the fire of God just began to hit her and she fell back under the anointing. Screaming out, my lungs are burning, my lungs are burning. A week later, she showed us, verified, completely healed. That's what the power of God can do. That's what my God can do. That's what God Almighty does. I just feel that the lion of the tribe of Judah wants to roar over your life right now, over every injustice, over every circumstance and situation that has been defying the power of God, that wants access and permission to come and shift and change the circumstances of your life. See, God wants to get it to you, but He also wants the power to minister through you. So if you're listening to this right now, I believe that the power of God is coming upon your life, into every situation, every circumstance. But there's also a commissioning of the power from on high. Just like happened in Acts 2 where the Holy Spirit came, there's a baptism of power. There's a baptism of fire just being released right now. Just say, God, baptize me. Baptize me in your fire. Baptize me in your fire. Oh, baptize me in your power. Commission me, Lord. Commission me, Lord. In your power. I want to heal the sick, raise the dead. God, if that's your cry, just cry out. Say, baptize me a fresh Lord. Baptize me a fresh Lord. In your fire. In your fire. In your fire. In your fire. There's fire being released right now. Fire building your release right now. feeling fire in your body just comment below if you're feeling fire in your body just write something let us know if God's beginning to heal things in you change things in you
worship you, Jesus. 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 King of glory. King of glory. to just worship Jesus for a moment then I want to pray for a few things can we just say you're holy you're holy you're holy you are holy you are holy you are to me made whole right now 
Minds are being made whole right now The assignment of grief is breaking off Breaking off I see trauma being lifted I see trauma being lifted I see trauma being lifted Those who've been struggling with depression and anxiety right now that is oil I show you I just see just like claws that have been at people's minds claws claws and lies I break them off in the mighty name of Jesus. There's deliverance right now under this anointing. Just receive your deliverance. Just receive your healing. Every single mental battle, every thing that has come against your mind, mental warfare, be broken in the mighty name of Jesus. Every stronghold, even the things you've accepted, even the things you've accepted as normal, they're being broken off you right now. are being restored right now marriages are being restored right now oh the war on the home has left many broken has left many scattered and you would say legacy has been broken my heart has been shipwrecked God He's healing the home, marriages and healing the home. Yes, your children is healing your home. Cause court is in session and the Lord says, place and cycles of dysfunction of being broken of being broken so the Lord says enough the Lord says It's breaking. I just see, I don't know why, I see like curses, like it's been generational, like it's been spoken over you, even habits, just financial problems, different people. I break that financial lack and poverty off your family line and off your life and off your mind. No, it will not happen like it happened before. God's doing a new thing. 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 I want to pray for a few more things. I 
one thing I just need to pray is for those who've been hope deferred. People that have said, I've heard too many words. I've heard too many promises. 1 Corinthians 4.20 says, For the kingdom realm of God comes with power, not simply impressive words. So Lord God, we make a... Lord God, we make a withdrawal. We make a demand on your power right now in those promises on their lives, God. God, just heal the areas of hope deferred in hearts. Let them see the manifestation of their promises. Let them see, let this be the season that they would see everything come to pass, oh God. Lord God, in every single bit of bitterness, Lord God, every single bit of just unbelief, God, we break it. We bind it in the mighty name of Jesus. And let there be a new hope that would arise and a new faith that would rise. Lord God, the people in this season will not let go of their promises, God. But they will hold and fasten themselves even closer to the promises. In the mighty name of Jesus. And let me just prophesy promises of God come into fruition in the mighty name of Jesus. I just declare it again. Promises of God come into fruition in the mighty name of Jesus. The Father, we will see the power of God meet with the prophetic utterance in this season, God. You're raising up not just mouthpieces, but power brokers. But power brokers in the kingdom, God. The people that will be mantled with power and completely surrendered to the Holy Spirit. Father, those that will be unshackled and unyoked with man and with religion, trying to get a name for themselves. And Lord God, those who are looking for self-promotion and a kudos, God, this will be the hour that there'll be a new remnant that will arise, that will be brokers of your power and brokers of, of heaven. Lord God, there'll be people who are totally preoccupied with what you want to say, with what you want to do. And there'll be those that release it to earth. There will be those that release it to earth, God. But you're raising up a new standard in the prophetic community, in the house of the prophets. Lord God, the, those who would release words that hit the mark. Those who would release words that hit the mark. Father, we just say, Father, consecrate us in this season afresh. Father, that we'll be responsible, Lord God, for the things that we speak that come out of our mouths, God. Father, in this season, that we'd see manifestations of your power, even instantly as we speak and prophesy in the mighty name of Jesus. And if you've got any sickness in your body right now, I believe God wants to heal bodies. I'm not going to call out sickness. I want to pray. I want to command sickness and affliction to leave you right now. If that's you, wherever you're standing, wherever you're sitting, wherever you're laying, if you're in a hospital bed, if you're in your bed, if you're in a chair, sitting on the couch, standing up at work, driving your car, whatever it is, to say that to me, I need healing in my body. stripes of Jesus you were healed and I command you right now be loosed from your affliction be loosed from your infirmity I curse every single thing that's come against you every affliction and infirmity and demonic assignment and agenda that's come against your body I rebuke it in the mighty name of Jesus and I command you be the healed, the restored, the made whole in Jesus' mighty name. Just give him a shout of praise and say, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus.